Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Yefirosa. And I am Lola Yoya's mom. Yeah, that's why my name is Yoya actually. It came from my mom's name, Lola and Yoya. And so anyways, this video, we're going to be talking about my coming out story. Okay. So do you remember any specific details or maybe anything that maybe I might not remember when I was a kid that kind of signaled that I might be someone that was more feminine or enjoyed dressing up or like, I don't know if there's any stories that maybe you can share with the audience. Um, no, just like a mother always just knows, maybe even before you may have even known. That's what I'm saying, like, is there anything like, I feel like when I was a kid, I did used to wear your high heels. You did. And I used to play with your makeup and things like that. You but did. But I try to be discreet, but as a kid, you know, you're always... And so your mom's stuff, uh, remember, yeah. I don't even know if you remember, you used to call high heels Cute cubes. Cute cubes? Mm -hmm, you Why? Did. Is it because of the sound they made? I don't know, but he used to always be like, I want to put on your cute cubes. And those, that was your name for high heels. Cute cubes. I didn't know that. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm wearing cute cubes now. I'm wearing these <laughs> leopard print cute cubes. And what, what, what heels are you wearing since you're. I'm just wearing some oranges. Some yes. sliders. Yeah, we love that. We love our cute cubes. <laughs> um, that's, that's, I'm quoting totally that term now, cute cubes. Um, so that's interesting. So I, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I, I do know that I actually uh, started in my mind. Like around high school is when I started dressing up, and I actually dressed up as Sarah Palin um, one Halloween just because of, I thought it'd be funny. And I don't know if you actually know this, but um, my friends they had all the things that I needed. They had the dress, the blazer, the wig, um, the makeup. But during that day, like I had a lot of fun. But there was one person that didn't like what I was doing, and so they actually spat on me. I don't know if I ever told you that. I did. Someone spat on me, and they spat on my dress. And my teacher was there, and she saw it. And um, my best friend was also there. My best friend ran after them and attacked them. I like, tried to get them. Um, but I didn't let that stop because I felt so beautiful and I had so much fun. And I just, I wiped it off. I washed it off in the in the art room. And then I just went on about my day. And that was actually the first time I ever cross-dressed. But I don't think you knew about that. Did not. Because after school, I took it all off and went back home like it never happened. Yeah, I was not aware. Yeah, yeah. But do you know, do you remember the person that you saw me dress up? Do you I recall that. That I, I remember that day. Your teacher was here. How yeah. you get dressed up? Yeah, so uh, the story behind that was basically uh, there was a drag race competition happening in a local club here in Rochester, unfortunately. It, it was Till. They're not, they're not open anymore, I remember unfortunately. Till. Yeah, so they're no longer open, but they were having a competition where if you came in the club and performed in drag, the winner would win like $500. And so I thought, I, I did this in high school. Um, it was my first year of college at the time. I said, you know, I want to give it another shot. So I went out and I went to like Rainbows and I bought everything I needed. I bought... Were you a junior or were you a senior? Then? I was a freshman, actually. A freshman. I was a freshman um, in college. I was in MCC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a freshman in college. And I told my teacher about the competition. She said, I'll go with you. I'll drive you. And so I was like, okay, the only problem is that I had to get makeup. I had the makeup done and the, the dress up and do all that here in Rochester because my teacher lived like in, she lived far out. Mm -hmm. So then I had to tell you. And so I remember calling and saying, hey mom, heads up, I my teacher's coming over and she's gonna do my makeup and I wanna dress up as a drag queen and I wanna go out and perform. Do you remember your thoughts at that moment in time? Or I don't remember that day. I clearly don't remember, I'm sorry. Yeah, but you remember the teacher. I remember though. I remember your teacher being here, she was gonna dress you up. I just don't remember the whole backstory of that. I do remember mom saying that you were like, you have to tell your brother though, because your teacher's coming, he has to understand what's going on. And so when I came home that day, I wasn't even out to my brother at the time, but I was out to my mom. And so I opened the door and my brother was playing like Call of Duty or some like Halo type of game. He had his headset on, he was super focused on that. And I said, hey, I need to speak to you. And he was like, hurry up, what do you need? Like he was in a hurry because he was playing an online game. And so I told him, I was like, I, I am queer, I'm gay, and I'm gonna dress up as a woman. And my teacher's coming over in about two hours to dress me up, put me hair and makeup so I could perform. And he was like, whatever, I don't care. Put his headphones back on and continued his game. Uh, so that was basically the story there on my first time coming out as a processor. But um, you didn't seem to, to care too much, and when she was here, you actually watched her doing makeup. I did. Yeah, I think mom was just kind of like uh, hovering over, just wanting to see what was going on. And you offered her something to drink, and then we left and performed and all that. But what was really fun, um, fast forward to the summertime, I got into another competition. And by the way, spoiler alert, I actually won that night. My first time out like, cross-dressing in, in public and, and performing in drag, I actually won that performance. Um, and so it, it actually led me entering into another competition over the summer. Do you remember me dressing up as Barbie Girl? 
that was the same summer that yeah. me and my friends went to. Yeah, can you tell them about that moment? Because that was something that was really fun. It was like, it was the finale of a competition, the same prize, it was like $500, and in order to win, you had to have an original outfit, you had to have a good performance, and you had to get the crowd to go crazy, the crowd okay. had to perform, <laughs> and like really like go all out, and so go ahead. So um, I was getting ready to go on vacation. So oh, you were? I do remember, yes, yeah, so it was like a cruise. No, we were going to um, Dominican Republic. Okay, cool. So uh, it was the weekend before, so I told my friends, hey, my son's gonna be in a competition at Tilt, and he's gonna um, he's gonna win this. So we need to go, and we need to go, you know, and cheer him on. So, you know, we got our little daughters and everything. Wait, and who was it? Was it like three friends or? Like... It was Vanessa, Wendy, April. Oh, wow, the whole crew. Uh-huh. Was that Linda too? Evelyn, yeah, oh, it was wow. all of us. Oh, oh, nice. So we go, and um, he comes on stage, and we were just like taking, over. <laughs> he comes on and she comes on and is killing it. You know, what, what's the name of the song? It was a Barbie girl. I was doing a Barbie girl performance. Yeah. I'll try to post it um, after this video so you guys can it see. It was amazing. We're just over there like just throwing dollar bills. Yeah, it was wild. And like the, it was like night and day between the other performers because like I don't think I were cheering for the other ones as much as you were for me. Oh, everybody so. was everybody was getting cheered on, but like Yo Yo was but yeah, killing you, you it. Had to we're just it like we were just like throwing dollar bills. It was like the best time ever. The, so that was that was no you you won the following because that was um the semifinals. The semifinals. That was the semifinals, yeah. So I ended up going to Dominican Republic the following weekend and then you had told me you won. Oh yeah, that's right. But I do remember and um, one of the drag queens I was hosting when she was like, she's like, who are those women in the back? Like, they're going crazy. I do we need to call security? And then I was like, that's my mom and her friends. And she was like, your mom's here watching you perform? And I was like, yeah, and I, was like, I love that. It's so cute. And I was it like, was the best. Mom. It was the best. And, and, and yeah, and then the, and the whole competition, when you were in vacation, I actually won the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I, I was like $500, but it was like 250 in cash. And then the other 250 I had to perform. Uh, and earn that money over time. And unfortunately, I was going back to school. So right, I, I went to like, I went to, oh, I don't know where I went, like, oh, I don't know where I was at the time, but I went to, I think it was like oh, Orlando or something. It was in Disney. Yeah, I went to, I went to, I worked at the Disney program, I did the college program there. So I, I flew out and I never was able to get that, that 250 in performance money, but either way, I won the- uh, Either way, it was yeah. about title. It was, you got I the title. Know, I was like the first winner. I don't even remember what the competition was called. It was like Meat Rack for Sunday or something. I don't know, but it was fun and I won. And it was really nice to have you support me. It was a really big- It was fun, it was awesome. Yeah. So yeah, that was basically the story. It's pretty pretty simple. I don't think there was anything that led up to it. You were you've always been pretty accepting. I think things when they're new to you, it takes you some time to kind of get acclimated, understand. But you know, a couple months later, you were over there cheering me on with your friends. So of course, that was great. And it, it, is there any type of advice that you could give someone who might be afraid of like coming up to their mom or their loved ones around these things? Or if you know, if you can offer any advice, perhaps to someone who has a child who's coming up or whichever you feel more comfortable with giving up information to or well, from, like from the other side to the person who needs to come out i would say it's just best to just don't overthink it like don't overthink it at all i think it's just best to just do it just do it i, I have to agree with that i think that if you just do because when i did it i felt like there was a burden weight like lifted off my shoulders and i felt like I didn't have to hide myself anymore. And I knew that, I didn't know what your reaction was gonna be, but I knew that no matter what you loved me. And so of I didn't think that, you know, there would be any repercussions. And so I was lucky in that sense that, you know, we had that relationship that was pretty tight where I, I felt like I could tell you anything, but this was just something that was so new. Um, but I'm glad that I did because now here we are making content together. Isn't that crazy? And, and because also a mother, most mothers always know anyways, it's just the confirmation. You just wanna have that confirmation. And that's really all. And a child, a person should always want to feel loved. Yeah, like absolutely. They don't want to be, you know, closed out by their family. And no one should ever have to feel that way. And as a parent, you should always be loving of your child regardless. There's always going to be issues between us or whatever, but it should never be because of who you feel you are or what you are. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I absolutely agree. And, and, and I understand that not everyone has the same type of house that I grew up in. So, you know, feel free to write me a comment and ask any advice. I'm happy to share my thoughts on the matter. I know not everyone's gonna have um, ex as an accepting of the household as I had. So, you know, let's talk this out. I, I want, you know, you all to feel empowered to share who you are in spaces that you feel comfortable, whether that's um, with your family or here on my channel or on um, any other different platforms that I make content on. You know, I want you all to 
um, always be aware of the fact that I am a resource for you all. Mm -hmm. So with that said, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, as always, I'm Yurek Vilosa. And I'm Lola, your real life mom. And we hope to see you all in our next video, whenever that may be. I feel like we do videos once a year together. Feels like it's a good cadence. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do it <laughs> next year. We'll see you next year together, all right? <laughs> bye, bye Next year is only in two months, actually. Oh, it's so crazy how fast this year went by, isn't it? It, it did. I'm still, I'm still recovering from 2020, honestly. I hope, I hope 2022 is a rocky year. I, we, we hope so. I mean, honestly, this is a good year for me, but you know, hopefully next year, like, every year gets better. I mean, 2020 to me doesn't count, so I'm still... Recovering? I'm, yeah, and I'm still, I'm still in my early 20s. Um, anyways. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, guys, we have to go, all right? Bye. Take care. All right, that's our own. I'm gonna use that real quick, and then just... You should follow her on OnlyFans. <laughs>